Okay, oh my goodness. So this this is another big issue. I didn't know this. It's not skilled up at all. Seven hundred eighty two days. You've been slacking. <laughs> You've been slacking. Seven hundred eighty two days and okay, you at least you clear Toa. You're still working on Toa hard. You took big breaks. So okay, so this is your GB eleven that has a two minute time. And I guess you tried some dot you tried like a semi dot team with Melia or something like that. So I guess this was your team, when it works very efficiently, is that two minutes, but usually it's at three minutes. You're working on DB10 right now, makes sense, and you're working on Necro 9, Steel Fortress, Punisher. So it looks like you still need to do all your dungeons, that's for sure. But at least you could run your uh, raids. I used a Shannon instead of Melia, so underrated. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to use for his team, for his GB12 team. Okay, so this team was a different team, but it's really unsafe. I, I see. Okay, get that. You were running some of this Forest of Roaring Beasts. I do not advise that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're gonna make you your GB12 team, or we're gonna at least try to um, make a working one. If it doesn't work with, well, with whatever we do, then Let's hope that's really safe in GB11 at least. Let's start. So, the team I'm thinking is Vero, Crow, Fran, Lauren, and Shannon. And I'm, there's a reason why I'm not using Sigmaris because Sigmaris is not skilled up. The other thing is that when I saw your runes, you were lacking violent runes, like I said. So I think only your friend will be on Violent and everything else will be either on Swift, Despair for the Shannon, and finally like Fatal or Rage. So I think that's how we have to do it. So due to that fact, we will start with Lauren first. Because right now your Lauren is energy broken and this is the stat. Wow, this is gonna be... Uh, you do have some artifacts, thankfully. So let's try to let's try our best to utilize those two. Oh, dang it, we don't. But let's try our best <laughs> with whatever we have. <laughs> it's nuts. Okay. So let's go, guys. We are currently done with the friend. I think this is what we have to go with. It's a little slow. I def I'm definitely not comfortable with the speed that's at, because we kind of have to make all our damage a little slower than this. Um. But we'll go with it. We're done with the friend. Let's move to the Lauren. And what kind of build is this? Is it fully skilled up at least? Is it fully skilled up at least? Okay, oh my goodness. So this, this is another big issue. I didn't know this. <laughs> it's not skilled up at all. Uh, no. Uh, you should try to get this fully skilled up when you can. And we're gonna put this on a swift set. Lauren. This is gonna be Lauren. Speed, uh, defense, HP. Her HP is a little low. Accuracy. I wish it was over 60, like close to 65. But we'll we'll work with this and see how it goes. But I think she's okay for now. We'll have to actually see in the runs. Because we're taking Shannon, it's another safety net with the uh defense buff. And next we're gonna ruin the crow. We're gonna go easiest, I mean hardest to easiest. I'm hoping that Shannon could be on Despair. You have some Despair runes, right? Yeah, good amount of Despair runes. And uh, Vero will either be on Violent or Swift, either or. But this one definitely has to be, have a lot of crit rate and be pretty fast, over 150 at least. I want to say 160. And if that's the case, Vero has to go in front of the Crow because we need the dots. So this is how the Crow is looking. Let's hope that this is enough. So we have to make sure that the Veramos is faster than this Vigor. And I think that's possible actually. I think that's not that bad. 
and maybe we might we might able to put it on violent we might be able to put him on violent uh, but before that let's go with the shannon because one of the easier units to ruin and it's not going to be on violent it's gonna be on despair oh it's a quad guys it's quad crit damage we actually got quad crit damage <laughs> okay uh, let's look at the current speed it's kind of slow so let's get some good runes on these slots i think it has to be a speed yeah that quad is great defense main defense percent main stat so it could go on a copper or bulldozer which you should build uh later on for sure i know it looks very squishy but she's wind element so if we plus 15 these it will be fine this one you should max because you will use it later this is really a definitely a good copper rune but the rest i don't know okay last one so it just has to be faster than the crow because crow needs dots to do the big damage so we're gonna hope that Veramos does that and i think we could put it on we could put it on violent we'll use the milia runes boom speed please uh Huh. Okay, we already have violent. Nice. Why? Okay, you wanted you wanted the accuracy, but you have a lot of accuracy, so you don't need that much accuracy. Okay, we don't want violent. Let's look at everything. Uh, uh guard slot six attack triple roll speed twenty two. Why is that bad, Northman? That's great. <laughs> Triple roll to speed 22 is great. Depends. IG Spectra Triton has a really high... Oh, it's just about the, about the Swift sets. Right. But Spectra is really a counter unit. I won't draft her anyways. In my normal draft. Ever. Unless I'm countering something. So... It's guard, I need it. Oh, you wanted the rolls on your vial attack slot? And you're sad that it actually went into a rune that's guard? I mean, who knows? You could get both. You might be lucky to get both, so. Triton, yeah. You could get... Uh, please with that I run could get wrecked by Triton. And if it's really fast, too. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Right after this rune, we will test the team out. Okay, but this is bad. This slot 5 is by far the weakest in the entire rune set. Uh. Okay, let's look at defense percentage. Determination. That's a good trick or rune. I mean, eh, not that good actually. Yeah, yeah, but that though, I'm still stuck with Megan Bernard Drake. Right <laughs> yes, but that has the better boost. Yes, that is correct. I don't want to. Okay, let's do this. Let's do that. It's slow. Let's hope that this rune can bring the speed up a little. And let's try out the runs. Yeah, but... I was really happy when I got Bustet. Bustet was definitely a big plus for, for my RTA matches. When I didn't have Bustet, I couldn't even think of running a cleave. I just got wrecked by probably a G1 player in FD match. All his armors are ATA X Mox skins. Right, yeah, yeah. That happens. It's either he's climbing or he's farming. The thing is, if he's farming, like I know that 
it sucks that there are people farming in lower levels but really if you could get out of that tier you should be able to beat farmers that's what i think although it's harder if you're playing the violent game because violent the the rune quality on violent sets is a lot lot higher than the rune quality on swift sets Yeah, but I hate it when I meet people with Guardian skins and stuff in like C1, C2. But then it feels great. But it feels great when you beat them. Probably his climbing season. Yeah, again, it's very early in the season. I don't know when the season's ending, but I know it's still very early. I think at least two weeks more left. Just with the, yeah. Shiki, what kind of team do you run? Is it a speed team or do you just play like the violent game? Second turn cleave, second turn bruiser, tanky. You're playing the speed team. And you couldn't nuke their team with the speed team? I mean, it's probably not the Japanese cleave, so maybe the nuke is a little weaker. Using a me oh I see so you're using like the Chiu the Oki the Wind Art Master something like that. For me, that's the meta team. I don't know if you're talking about a different meta. Uh, this looks really bad, but uh, let's hope that we could give it some defense. Nice defense, crap. Okay, Coley, it's time. It's time to test out your team. My water view missed the strip, then got outspent. Oh, so okay, so maybe the speed tuning is a little off. Really weird though. Water view missed the strip, then got outspent. Let's go, auto. Nice. Okay, it's the exact turn order I wanted to go. Nice. Yup, Shannon is a beast. I used to use Shannon for my GB10 as well. And then I just fed her after I was done with her. <laughs> I used her as a 5 star, I never 6 starred her. Oh, we missed the defense break. Nice, we got it. Okay. Nice. Nice. Back in the day, we had to manual GB. Wow, you played since then? That's like five years ago. <laughs> you had to manual GB10. Oh, the crow died. Let's try. Uh, I know it's going to work on GB12. There's no way that GB12 is not going to. I mean, GB, GB11 is not going to work. It's going to be really, really safe in GB11. Right? There's no way this loses in GB11. Hey, there's 12 there's 12 years now. Yeah, there's there's no there's no way that this loses. Let's try GB12 again. I want to see. I want to see. Uh, yeah, best time for GB11, for GB11 guys. <laughs> Let's try that again. And see if we fail at the same same uh, stage. I don't know if it was like a derp on Shannon's part. It, I don't know why she didn't have skill three, before. Yeah, this is this is gonna work. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. See. The the crystals don't don't do too, don't do a lot of damage with the defense buff. Oh no slow! Oh ooh, that was a big hit, guys. It's okay. 
Barrel can die. Oh, actually, there's no dots anymore. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe it's a loss, guys. Wait, Bobby, why are you donating? It failed. Just so you don't are not zero. Here's my P donation. <laughs> it is over 200 defense now. Little, little faster. We got two more speed. If this doesn't work, I think um, we'll give it back to Kali. Um, I think definitely the Fran's a little slow. I pref I prefer Fran to be close. Uh, Fran cl being closer to two hundred speed, but Fran's a little slow. The Lauren's not on violent. I prefer that as well. And the thing is, the barrel is not getting a lot of a lot of stuns. Is it because the accuracy is too low? But the accuracy is over seventy percent. And yeah, we didn't get up will again. Lauren's not landing defense break, so that's also a big no-no. Because I think after this, we want to do a little RTA before we end the stream. And RTA is a little more fun anyways. The chance of stun itself isn't that high. I thought when it's max skilled, it does have a high percentage though. Yeah, it was max skilled. Very was max skilled. I know that if it's not skilled up, it's pretty low. 60%, but yeah. So if you saw that very first round, it didn't land any stuns. Let's see here. Didn't use, didn't use skill three. We don't have defense buff. Ooh, that was close. Okay, we get the stun there. I'm back. Okay, we're trying out the run again. We didn't up afraid much and it looks like this this round is not an issue because if you if we get the defense buff there's no way that this team dies or if the crystal tower one of them is already killed off okay that's fine okay see there you go that barrel was to survive like that but last time it died after one hit If the barrel doesn't die, I think we have a chance. Yeah, so this is the good run. But I see the issue. Vero has to be closer to 180 speed for it to move right after the defense break comes in. So I think that's one of the biggest issue. That's the biggest issue right there. I believe it was 180. The closer it is to 180, it's speed tuned. So once the AOE defense break comes in, the Vero moves, so he cleanses that defense break. Let's do one change, okay, guys, one change. Okay, the moment of truth, let's look. Let's see if the Vero moves after the defense break. No, we didn't see it because we had immunity. Whew, that was a strong hit. Defense break. Oh, there you go. See, the Vero moved in. Cleansed the defense break right there. Uh, Where are the heals? Oh, no. He moved in front this time because of the slow. Why did he move in front? Maybe it's too fast. 
You have to make him one or two or one two speed slower. The Lauren will die because she does the mo I guess not. <laughs> Yeah, but the defense break is coming after the Vero moves. Fran is fully skilled up, skilled up though, right? Is the Fran not? Okay, oh my goodness, so this this is another big issue. I didn't know this. It's not skilled up at all. No wonder. No wonder. No, you do not you do not give your uh Naomi the crow runes because Naomi does not need crit rate. Yeah, but this is a big issue. This this Fran here <laughs> Wow, we were finding issues somewhere else, but we found one of the biggest issues in Fran. Um, do you have some fairies? Or you know what? If you're lucky, there might be some fairies here. Wow. Because this is really big. This is really big. You know, attack break from Fran is really big. Um, this recovery amount is really big plus the cooldown time is really big and This too the cooldown time plus the recovery. They're both. They're all big. They're all really big So it looks like there's two crucial units that you need to fully scale up Which is one is the Lauren and you do see the harmful effect, right? You need that attack speed slow And this one is just harmful. This is for HP uh, recovery, but I think that's fine. But you want to fully scale this up so that it strips. Uh, you want the Lauren to strip the attack buff that the boss gets. And if it fails to do that, that's why you take so much damage. Okay, so those, okay. If you get those two done, then you'll be good to go. I think you'll be good to go. So I don't think it's a rune issue because I think they're all pretty, they're all pretty tanky. Let's just make sure that Vero is fully scaled up. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yep, will do. Thanks. Okay, I think I'll give you back the account now. And I'll go back on my account to do some RTA. I'm not going to do too much, but um, I'll play some RTA on my account. So I'm going to log out from this one, okay?